I finally got things working. <laughs> and, whew, I'm out of breath. I hope you're doing well. How are you? <laughs> we can be tired too, yeah. Yeah, I, I was just racing trying to get everything ready. And I, even then, I'm a little bit late, but that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. So we're jumping right back in. Did nothing, did not want to work today. I feel that. I feel that. Oddly enough, oh wow, why is it so framey? Oh, isn't it? it might be because I have a billion things open. Maybe I should close them. Scuffed stream tonight. You know how it be. There we go. Maybe a little bit less scuffing. But yeah. How was your day? I'm, I'm betting <laughs> probably very tiring if you're... If you didn't want to... Wow, why is it so framey today? I wonder. I actually wonder if... Do I have iTunes open because of the... No, it's still kind of framey. Weird. Okay, I mean, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I actually before I do anything, I'm actually gonna read some of this. Then I don't remember. Yeah, I know, I just rush around the house to clean up the toys while BB was drinking his milk to finish before he's done, so you didn't find any still. That's, uh, yeah, when you're a mom, you gotta keep an eye on those things. Okay. I never found this other observatory. I'm guessing this is gonna connect with this somehow. There's more to explore here. So it did fall. I didn't see. See, this, this is why it's worth reading. This is why reading is important. <laughs> I saw the probe tracking module through a Know My Projection tool. It looks like the module is underwater. I could see purple electricity outside the viewport. I know where it is. One of the orbital probe cannon's three modules. So there's more to explore in the orbital probe cannon. And why I decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator in the Brittle Hollow South Pole. So I'm gonna go there first. My day was fine, mostly big nap. Uh, midday, I had PT for an ankle, for my ankle, and didn't go to work because the chef that was opening, I knew she wouldn't care to try and help. I'm sorry. Am I falling back? No, I'm okay. okay. Ah! Okay, so this is a quick note on the brittle hollow. It seems to disappear more the further on in time it is. But yeah. Oh wow, five callouts. Look, I learned how to do this. Eight. Wow. Gotta put the suit. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, it feels like that comet is coming awfully close. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy how they simulate stuff in this game. Also. And I'm in the... Oh, oh. And I'm in the south. Whoa! Did something just impact? Yeah, our three call-free sick days were given to us this month, so people were using free day and you don't get a point for it. Oh. How do I use this? Okay, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. Entire plant roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? Quantum. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aber aberrant... It looks like abhorrent, but aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, is not only the trees. There is other matter in the area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. The rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere in the planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard is present is significant. We would we should study it. Could it be what is confusing other nearby objects so to also move about in this area? So yeah, it must be one of the where's my signal scope? Quantum fluctuations. Yeah. It's it's our friendly quantum rock. Friendly quantum rock. Plume, Fe Felix, and I determined that this atypical shard of rock is a reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. Oh, so maybe this is a shard from the moon. In her notes from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. Uh, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Really thought I... Muted the phone. Perhaps even a small piece of the moon itself. Yes, this is my hypothesis. I've also heard the same signal. The shard uh, produces calling out from the Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twin. Suppose there are other shards like this. Moon Man. Yes, Moon Man. I didn't even... Wait. It did say Moon Man, didn't it? Wandering Moon. Oh, Wandering Moon. Was it? What is it? Oh, our friend the Wandering Moon, so yes. I am confused. Okay, so this planet does slowly fall apart. That's crazy. That's actually really cool. 
So this plant, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> well. Guess I died. Hello, Bob. Welcome back. What if we could leave messages to people like that? Like what? On walls? I think we can leave messages on walls for people. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, we can, but I know that that's not what you meant. Oh, like swirls on walls. That'd be crazy, though. That'd be... I feel like for the way humans write would be very... I mean, it could... We could totally learn it. It's one of those things that I think we're just... Dark Bramble. There, oh, there's the moon! Okay, I need, a, I need to get to that moon. That's the secret moon that disappears. It cannot go behind. It cannot go behind... The planet. If it goes behind the planet, it's gonna disappear. right through it. I just went right through- it doesn't exist anymore. What is this? <laughs> is that it? No, that's Timber Earth. Uh, spooky. Yeah, that's where we were one time. We were over there too. Okay, so that's where I want to go. smooth landing I'm getting better at smooth landings thankfully <laughs> be terrible if I didn't I want to know at what point exactly the ground starts breaking apart because that's what I want I want the ground to break apart Because I want to go inside. I want to go inside of the planet. That's my whole thing. My whole point of being here. I need to go inside. Okay. Oh, is this what happens? Okay, so we were there once. Didn't really give us much. Okay, I see I see another one coming in. Or maybe it's quantum. It disappears when I'm not looking. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need to flip. I need to go inside the planet. There we go. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, I made it. Okay. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to go. Let me go there. <sighs> now this is tough. I bet no one's ever seen piloting quite like this. Ugh. Piloting quite like this. <laughs> Okay, I need to find a way to land. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I see, I see the gravity ones. The gravity thingies. I see the gravity thingies. Oh, oh, I see it, I see it. I see where I have to come through. Right here. Ugh. Hey. Hey, look at this masterful landing job. Hey. <laughs> My dog is done with it. He'd like them better when he couldn't move. Hey, you'll learn to appreciate the BB. Appreciate the BB. Appreciate the BB. Need to activate these rings. These rings. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, uh oh. Da 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 oh no shoot ourselves to the planet we want. We got this. Aha! Simple! Ember Twin Projection. Oh, this can take me to the Ember Twin. I'm not sure I want to go to the Ember Twin so right now it's twisted too far to the left. Welcome to the White Hole Station. You felt, yep. Tower to specific astral, you must. All right, so I need to turn this thing like that a little bit. All right. So it's a little bit too much that way, so we're gonna turn it this way. Just a smidge. There we go, that should be good enough. There we go. Is it still spinning? Oh. Come back here, you goon. Okay, okay. In moments like these, you just have to be ready when it happens. I think I need to stand here. And just see my ship spinning around. All right. And it's gonna happen. Now. Yeah. 
Hey. All right. So we're in the North Pole. Yeah, we'll keep moving. We'll keep moving. Oh. Is that the sun? Is it going supernova right now? Why is everything happening? That is the question everyone should ask. Why is everything happening? Oh, I'm going really fast. Okay. Let's observe. Why do things happen in life? Asking the true philosophical questions here. All right. Oh boy, it's all falling apart. It's a planet that keeps falling apart over and over and over. It doesn't make sense. Ugh. Metal Gear. I think I can land there. No! Oh, ship, 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 ship. No, that's not the ship. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was the ship. I'm using my oxygen. Oh boy. Come on. Uh, three minutes of oxygen. <sighs> pull me in, pull me in. Yes! <sighs> okay. Uh oh. Something's busted. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, how do I fix it? How do I fix it? Here we go. I don't need the landing camera. I'm a pro lander. It's actually a lot easier than when it's on land, surprisingly. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, the electric systems went to zero. I guess that's why it. We should be good. I don't think it got banged up in any other way. My probe. Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected. <laughs> I know that song. It's played everywhere in Epcot, but they don't own it. Disney doesn't own the Jurassic Park music. Who do they think they are? They already have enough things. They don't need to be using other people's things. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you. This is actually a surprisingly small solar system. <laughs> then Disney must have their own variation of it. Disney. Upside down jizznap. But you see what I mean? How does this- how has this planet existed for so long? If the whole thing with this planet is that it's... Like, breaking apart constantly. Why spin? I always forget how to spin. Perfect? Perfect? Oh. Oh. Perfect. Suit up. Let's do this. One of these. Here we go. As the control. Turn on the travely thing. Uh oh. The sun is getting bad. <laughs> okay. I think I know what I'm gonna try. Oh, oh, oh no. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go again. Come on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, come on. Land on the tree. Am I secure? Nope, nope, not secure, not secure. Uh. Oh, is that a landing spot? You gotta be kidding, there's a landing spot right there. It's- I'm too fat! That's what happens when you eat too much burgers! You can't fit! True, true story, by the way. Uh, no, 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 no! I had too many burgers, and I couldn't fit. Okay, what if I lodge my chip in a place it can't move? Like, bam. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, I need to find a way to land. I mean, obviously, but... I tried doing it the right way. Try doing this the right way. Which is like activating the other. Okay, okay. Why do I have such a. <gasps> Wait, 
the way. It's okay. It's okay. This is this is fine. I know I'm being jostled around, but actually, if there's no gravity, okay. It always. I think they did this on purpose. It never just chills. You can't make it chill. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I want it to chill. Right here. See, like, it pushes you up. So it doesn't let you just chill on something. This... It's got no chill. Oh, oh. Roots, hold me! Bad idea, bad idea! Oh no! Oh no! Make it- Oh, I used the gravity from- Oh! Oh! That's cool. I just used the gravity from- the black hole to push myself up here. That is really cool. <laughs> That's actual physics. Cut to that... that clip of Jesse saying, SCIENCE! Okay. Black hole... Forge District? Ice Shrine District? Meltwater District? And School District? School district? Eh. Eh. Oh, oh, oh! School district? So this is the North Pole. Oh, new stuff. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful high- uh oh, uh oh, I know that sound. <laughs> Burned alive in the blue sun. Watching Rods? No. Bad BB. <laughs> it's probably such a terrifying thing. Waking up from death. Have you ever had those death dreams? Everyone's had death dreams. Oh, oh, oh! I see it! I see it! Where did it go? I saw it for a moment. What's that? Oh, that's the twins. had it. We're fine. I'm gonna try landing on the lantern. Biakuas. I feel like maybe the lantern holds the way to go into. Maybe it doesn't, but 
bear with me here. This is just my theory, my game theory. Whoa, 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 whoa. what's that? Rods gets distracted by things. That is the name of the game. It's actually Outer Wilds, but don't need to talk about it. What is that? You look at that. Hey, a classic rods landing. Oh, this is how they got to this planet. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. There's a beacon. Okay. How can I not land? because it was targeting the other planet. Hey. Smooth landing. Saw what? The moon? No, I saw the, the thing. The thing. I saw the thing. The thing we're trying to find. What I'm guessing is the whole point of this game. Trying to find the eye. What is this? The stress beacon? <laughs> is everyone unharmed? Next page. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. Incredibly fortunate. Good news, at least. Have you heard from escape pod 2 and 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods. Distress signals, however, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again! Everyone brace yourselves swiftly! The volcanic moon has returned! Be cautious of falling ash and debris! I believe the moon has passed gas. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. That's why the story ends. Intriguing, if you ask, BB. Oh, this is the pods. <sighs> pods. Ooh. Launching escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instability detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. Begin flight log. Escape out one. Vessel has been morally injured. There was just escape activation. Way back. Got BB emotes? Is that like actual BB? It looks like it has a beard. Why does it look like it has a beard? We're just seeing escape head. Ooh! <laughs> well. Alright. Time for some... Use caution. Black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. You never slip. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. No, be sure not to wander far from here, though this area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks, dust created by meteor impacts. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, you goon. People don't use, like, for bad guys, the word goons anymore. Goons is such a cool word. 
This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going crazy. The signal looked like an eye. Brown with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal is looking for something. Signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go again. Imagine what rare pro and profound knowledge it might offer. You must find the eye of the universe. Man, what's up with things always wanting more knowledge? That's our greatest strength and greatest weakness. We always mess everything up because we're like, we want more. But that's cool at the same time, because we want more. Uh, is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will it be the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Malora. Malore. No, Erica. You have to control your desire for knowledge. Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen the Marvels? They're little books with a lot of pictures in them. The Marvels. You know, there's a dude there that became so knowledge that he literally became a head. <laughs> That's all he was. He was just a big old head running on a little jetpack. He's spooky and scary. And his wife didn't love him anymore. Because his wife only cared about his human appearance. But when he just became a head, no one could love him anymore. That's... The person who wrote that comic was someone with a very big forehead. My brother wasn't in Escape Pod 1 with us. Was he in 2, 3? Able aboard Escape Pod Bop Bop? Sacrifice too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan the greatest loss in vain. Okay. I know one thing. Is that... Somehow... Ooh. Ooh, drawings. I know that somewhere on this planet, we have... In the world? Somewhere on this planet, there's a way to activate it so we can get into the viewer thing in the North Pole. Batch, I can't understand why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? We warped to to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid our friends in Escape Pod 3. No, Anona. <gasps> Anona Ryder? And I checked before the warp and the warp core okay friends i have a theory some could even say a game theory about what's going on i think the eye of the universe is like a quantum whatever and it's moving in that whatever you know i'm using very precise language so the problem is that since it's a quantum whatever do you see that? That's the path. My eyes are open. Because the quantum whatever is quantuming the whatevers. Clearly, clearly, uh, whenever the, no jokes aside, I think whenever they, <laughs> they try to see it, the reason why it isn't there is because like it's moving just like we've been seeing the quantum rocks. It must be made of like the same kind of stuff. So whenever they try to reach it, it's not there anymore. That's my theory. That's my quantum theory. Thanks for listening. By the way, I found the path. Where I want to go. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do this fast. I'm not even going to read because the whole problem is that... The more the rocks disappear the more gaps there are going to be. And if there's a gap in the middle of the road, I won't be able to make it. 
Oh no, is this a gap? Oh no, it's a gap. Come on, come on! Come on! Oh, oh. No! <laughs> but I know what to do. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plenty plan. All right. Where's it going? Where's it going? Go, 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 go. I'm gonna try catching it. I see it. I see it right there. There it is. There it is. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. No. I'm not taking my eye out of it, off of it. No! Is it going? Is it just chilling? We got an achievement for this. Scan it. Scan it. I need to get closer. I'm gonna... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I need to... Ma I need to get closer. Because I want the scout attached to it. <laughs> Come on. Ah, stupid scout. This is not the thing. This is not the thing. No. Okay, this sucks. I don't know what it is. I found it. It doesn't really do anything. <laughs> I'm going back to Earth. No one cares. I'm okay. See, I'm a, I'm a good pilot now. I, I always land. <laughs> I use a spacesuit in my own planet. What did I break this time? What's this? What even is this? Headlights. Who uses headlights? Okay. Eh. 
What do you mean gravity zero? Clearly there's gravity. Alright. I feel like the mystery was on, on our planet all along. I think that that's the solution to the, to the puzzle. If I'm being complete. If I'm being completely honest. I think the solution to the puzzle is in our planet. What? I wasn't underwater. Oh wait, no. It, it... Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. Come on, come on, give me a break. Give me, give me a break. Okay. <laughs> Your body has no, yeah, I'm looking at my life bar. Like, ooh. Well, still alive somehow. Okay, so I actually went the wrong way. <laughs> Instead of going deeper into the thing, I actually left. So, I thought maybe I was going the right way, but... Clearly not. Nah. Good work. I'm Jello Man. Jello Man! It reminds me of the Pepsi Man theme song. So... As I mentioned before, I was making a theme song. Not a theme song. I'm not making a theme song. Don't. Mining site 2B. <gasps> Connection to near Automata Pia. Taking me. I am one with the universe. Oh. Someone died here. Oh, this is a big one. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers that I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal the chamber inside the Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they have... I hope they have planned... ...accordingly. <laughs> I thought you had forbidden... I thought you had forbidden your apprentices from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improved? <laughs> I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths ore only for constructing this shell. If, eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point to, of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Oh, they were considering us, who would appear many years later. That's good. Oh, 
It looks like a butt farting out a sun. Oh, I mean, it looks like the Ash Twin. Show me. Oh, that's spooky. Oh, this is inside. The Ash Twin. Oh, there are three. There are three of them that are still alive. That's my guess. There are three of them that are still alive. My gratitude for the latest shipment, oh, we know. This ore should be the last we'll need for Project Ash Twin project. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check and ensure we are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks. This is exciting news. I can offer an extra set of eyes for this final check. Specifically, mine. <laughs> if my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest flaw of, or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Okay, so like, Ash Twin Project is way before what I already learned about the other stuff. I'm far more interested in in the eye of the universe because clearly they built the ash twin to be oh thank you thank you for the fo the the host that's the biggest problem oh oh i see stuff what in the world it's water uh. I really like how how it looks underwater with all the the stars the quote-unquote stars like this stuff that they mine it's beautiful there is a reason why this game got so many prizes this, this game is really great it's really cool <laughs> like it and it's what is really Goodbye, world. I wonder if by closing the door, something changes. That's my theory. Maybe not. Maybe not. But, I'm surprised not more games used this idea. Not this I idea, just like... Whoops. This idea... Like, oh, the planets and whatever. But just this idea of... Because we have so many games where you die and repeat. That's the whole premise of... Of, uh, you know, a Dark Souls. Okay, I, I thought... Of a Dark Souls or any roguelikes. After closer observation, Mining Site 2A wouldn't be safe from native life dwelling in some of its cave pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. The opposite hand, new life! This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust. I believe they'll thrive in the long run. The is near the pool if you want to visit Tuwe and meet them. I watched them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. They remind me of the subterranean species that my mentor Mel Melora, Melore, uh, once told me about from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these light forms greatly. There are a few other cave sites that look promising, about 2B continued. It shares similar formations and strata. We know. This sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? Mining sites 2B continued provides 
to s pr prove safe for this uh, native species, uh, we'll move on work there. Side 2B is safe. Coleus says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effects. Okay. What is this? Okay, that's a water rift. Oh, this is a sucky rift. Here we go. <laughs> Putting BB to sleep, trying. Good luck. You'll need it. Someone's been in here. That's really close. And I know what that means. That's the guy who disappeared. Yeah, he's somewhere... He's somewhere in the system. Okay, I'm gonna go to my ship, because... I'm pretty close to it. Fuel level critical, get out of my hair. Sing BB the nice song to help him rest and sleep. That's intriguing. Landing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing my spacesuit here. Oh. Hello. Tektite. Hey, you hatchling. You are talking to a tin can of yours in space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I'll surf across over the horizon, didn't like what I was seeing. I picture a little scout was sending me back. So I thought I'd come over and myself and take a look. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. Looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, I'll quite explore back in the day. Do you think it's extra extraterrestrial? Sir, why do you just sit, talk like that? It kinda looks like something. What? Don't mind me. Something like might have come off Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, put down roots in a hurry. Yeah. I don't like to look at this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Howl loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster. The tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want to set anybody hacking up the potentially dangerous plant with a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hand into anything that looks like as unpleasant as that seat does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. All right. Let's stick our launcher.
What in the world? It's the eye. And there's a person there. Duplicate signal. They couldn't figure it out. As long as I'm looking at it, it exists. I just figured out this game. Wait, where's my... As long as I'm... The scout is looking at it. We did it. We did it. Figured it out. I won. I won. Friends, this was a fun ride. This was an easy baby like game. the eye. This is a planet I actually never came to. There it is. My final challenge is an anglerfish. My final challenge is an anglerfish. Now that's that's interesting. Yeah, so I need to do that again. I can't just go. Suit up. I need to find the, the flower again, and I need to shoot the scopey scope through it. This is the only way to do it. There we go. Uh, I don't want to kill him. Beautiful landing. Beautiful landing. Mm, chef's kiss. If I had hands, I'd chef kiss it. And... Ba-boom. Give it a... Seconds. Okay. I'm essentially going to have to be the best driver. Got the eye. 
I guess seeing the skeleton of a massive angler fish should have <laughs> should have tipped me off to the fact that you know <laughs> that might be a problem I have to deal with. Now, we know. I actually didn't have to research anything. I didn't have to go to any of those other planets. So yeah, if you went in here not knowing what's up, you, you would not know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna have to be good. The truth is, I'm gonna have to be good. Okay. I'm just gonna have to go. I got it. It's a rod's landing. It's a rod's landing. If only I knew how to flip my ship. Okay, okay. I can probably enter through the the booty of this animal. Yes. <laughs> Come on. There's clearly enough space. Okay. Ooh. Hey there, little scout. force yourself into anything's booty by the way that's if you if you learn something today that's that's what i'll say it it's a mm, i don't want to fly too far because i have a feeling okay maybe this is a good angle yes yes okay okay yep yep spin me spin me perfect perfect Did I do it? Did I win? Whoa. Where do you come from? No one's come here in... Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian ever reached the Dark Bramble. 
After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? <laughs> Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! We all thought you were dead for sure. Have you been here in the Dark Bramble all this time? Depends on how long all this time is. I've been here a while, I guess. Ever since I crashed my ship into... That is, ever since my daring escape from the jaws of an anglerfish. Tell me more about your flying prowess. You crashed the ship, didn't you? <laughs> Obviously, yeah. No need to be rude. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Getting around Dark Bramble is easy, mind you, once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns. You know, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You've seen them? Big, gnarly things. This was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy, I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into a vine and... Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises, and it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, ain't that great. Oh, I mean, ain't it? <laughs> that ain't great. <laughs> Sure enough, I barely get out, and before the electrical system starts sparkling like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fra fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. Found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. I moved my setup up here and planted my emergency tree seat. Been here ever since. Wow. Can't believe you didn't die. Can't believe you destroyed your ship. No wonder there are so many stories about you back home. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, how's it all? That's how that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story over. But feel free to stay and enjoy the fire for a while. Or don't. Fire's going. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you wanted? I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. I found a dark bramble seed on timber wood. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chirp will tell you if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing, growing, and growing, till it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be head, heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, the Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Hey Hatchling, pull up a marshmallow stick. Come here to tell the heroic exploits, have you? Where should I ex where should I explore here? That's the spirit! Anywhere's good, but you should know that space is weird here, intensely. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of these weird seeds? See there, see there with the little opening? Just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see, but it's... Inside, it's bigger. Like a TARDIS. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this. My theory in space is space in the dark bramble is kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring the dark bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Uh, you reach the core of Giant's Deep. How do you do it? Giant Deep's core, huh? Oh, that's a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume that you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. 
On a completely unrelated note, there sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep, that was... sure was a big hollow vine. If I were you, I'd take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That's my old ship. Path starts there. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. the plot thickens like the fog here. Where's your ship? Not far from here. As a matter of fact, you can go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here and you'll see the flickering light on in the fog. All that and you'll find my old ship. That's what's left of it anyway. Right. What's hap- what happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like when- it was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten up seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. The light keeps the fish away, you know, see, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. Why well, keep, why well, set up camp here? Mm. Let's see. Shouldn't, shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Yeah, well, yeah, sure, whenever you have time. Frankly, I kind of like it out. Quiet. Peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that there ever was. Nice to have a break. Hashtag deep. Ground control. All right. Okay. I don't want to go. Where is my ship? There it is. I don't want to go too far without my ship. <laughs> I lose my ship. Oh, actually, before I do anything, I'm, I'm going to explore the... The seed. This is what this is what the eye of the universe looks like. Is it gonna come back here? Huh. That's fun. That's really fun. Have you found the fish? I did. It was spooky. The live one was spooky. But I'm trying to figure out now. Ooh. <clears throat> Need to fix my trip. Everything's looking good. I like this one though, the dead one. Oh, I have my landing pads there. There we go. I'm gonna go check the Feldspar ship. I'm gonna do it. Very gently. By spinning around. <laughs> okay, here we go. I will follow this vine. After 
I do some exploring on Feldpar Feldspar's ship. Oh, okay, never mind, I'm not exploring his ship. Never mind that, I'm going back to my ship. <laughs> my ship doesn't hurt me. Here we go. Time to go through this vine. Trying to figure out what is on the other end. But I guess I won't fit in this vine. Such a... I feel like... I can't continue this song without making it sound really bad. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> okay, before... Before we go any further... where I wanted to be. No, I'm not. <gasps> oh! Trip four? I'm gonna say not one. Crashes three. Boring crashes zero. Personal best. Whoa, ho! Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside Giant Steep. They're awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful too. here too. Ugh. This thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it's, it, it insulates the jellyfishes inside from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity uh, to see what's in there. Taste if it, what's in there tastes any better. Uh, okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this, even if you are dying. It would be too sad if you were to last thing to ever eat in the bop bop bop. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. It's me. Wow. Landed here. Hello. Trying to figure this out. Oh. 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 Oh, that's not good. I don't want to go in here. I really don't want to go in here. This one red.
They were dead. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I wonder if I can tell anyone that Feldspar is alive. Uh. Uh, keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it. You won't be a dumb idiot if you think I made that just so you could... Pretty little pictures of trees, multiple uses. You do know that you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Okay. Can't wake them up. Definitely gonna be hard to do with the ship. I'm gonna try it again. I don't know why. You know, I don't know the point of me doing that, but... Ember Twin, Ash Twin, Sun, Adel Rock. Gonna try it again. What is this? What is this? Excuse me? Is this Ember Twin? Oh, this is the station. Okay. I'm gonna catch it on the other side. That's gonna be hard to do. Here it comes. going farther. Gotcha. Nope, that's Ember Twin. This is hard. I need to orbit. I need to orbit. I keep getting distracted. Uh, it's a problem with me. <laughs> Engage autopilot. Let's do the thing. I don't even know why. It's just colored differently. I like this music. It kind of like, it's almost as if whenever you're doing something interesting or maybe right, it kind of plays this like happy little ditty. And I like that. I don't know 
This is my biggest problem. I don't know if with the ship I'll be able to do it, because I bet the ship is really loud. So... Okay. So what did we learn, kids? Ship's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Ship is not going to cut it. Perfect landing. told me there were other parts of the ship that needed help. There we go. Oh, here we go. I think the front needed some repair. No, it's fine. Okay. I'm just going to refuel, make sure I'm at max at everything. Me luck. The delights can be as much angler fish. I think that's the angler fish right next to the red. Don't like it. Approach through the vine. There we go. Okay. Okay. All good. Ah! <laughs> The fact that it remembered, I was like, it's probably just gonna be exactly where I left it. 
which is going to be a problem. <laughs> All right, this time I'm going to try again, but I'll go without a ship from the start. <laughs> so we don't have a problem. Bye, world. All right. At least if I could get to the first bramble, like inner bl bramble. Oh, wh whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to kill anyone. <laughs> At least if I could get into like the first inner bramble with the ship, that would give me so much more time to... to, uh... to maneuver around without anything. Because doing it with, like from the outside outside is rough. Cause I only have, am I going into the sun? Going from the outside outside is just a lot of space and a lot of fuel. Granted, I did have to go around because of the fish and I won't have to do it this time. So we'll try it. We'll try it, because I know the big ship always gets the fish out. We'll try it. We shall try it one more time. Rip. Rip. Daft Punk, you were the coolest. Place is real spooky. Especially, I, I mean, I know that it's completely by design, but I love the way that they do it so the brambles and the fish kind of have sim a similar look if you're not really paying attention. time better not scare me again I think we're okay I think we're okay
Straight to the straight to go. Straight to the go. Come on. Come on. I don't even know why I'm coming here. I'm just coming here because it's the one that was different. Oh. I see it. Eggs? Hold up. Eggs? Just eggs. There is a fishy. There was literally no point for me coming here. I just found the nest of the eggs. I mean, the nest of the fish. There's a bramble here. Okay, so literally it was just the eggs. Okay. One only has two dots. Looks like the fog is thick. Just eggs. Is that a fishy? Yep. Yes, sir. That's a fish. I'm gonna die anyway. There's no way. Yeah, so it was kind of useless. Kind of pointless. It was fun discovery. But it cost me my life. doing this forever until one of the these are the f fish that I'm going towards. Yeah, I'm gonna die. What happens if I go back? Is it gonna spit me out?
Okay. We made some more discoveries. <laughs> we made some more discoveries. Turn out the red thing is just eggs. Which is fine. Catch it. I can actually see it. Here it is, here it is. Abort autopilot. I want to go to the... We got it. That's trying to pull me towards the sun. I want to. Oh, wow, I'm really far. From, from our solar system, that's for sure. I'm sure that there is, like, something that happens with me going with this thing. I don't know how long it will take, though, but we going. This might be, like, the boring one. The one that, like, you just have to sit and wait for a little while. <laughs> what if it literally doesn't find anything, though? Like, I wouldn't know the way back. Either. At this point. Is that something new? Are we approaching that? I think we are. 
It looks different. Maybe not. I don't know how this game works. So how's everyone doing? <laughs> Since we might be traveling in the void of space for a little bit. That's how you spin. Oh. You might be going... Were you able to put BB to sleep? <laughs> oh. That looks different. Are we approaching that? Oh, it seems like we are approaching something. I see some weird texture patterning going on. I feel like there's a shadow. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm, I'm insane. <laughs> oh, oh, there are multiple of them. I see multiple of them now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look this up. Oh, 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 never mind. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> um Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can we match speed, please? There we go. Yeah, I gotta look at this real fast. It's... Oh, you guys can't see it. Following the probe outer wilds. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Velocity. Oh, oh. What did I, what did I press? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. There definitely seems to be stuff. All right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Let me. That, do that, and that. There we go. Probe. Okay. Control module, launch module, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. I have the universe. The probe. Well, itself not crucial. It's possible to catch up to it with a very long burn in the spaceship. The probe is seen being launched at the star at each time loop. While itself not crucial, it is possible to catch up to it. The very long burn in. So it doesn't really do anything? This is not. I have the universe probe. Follow. But it leads nowhere. Oh no! Man. It, it screwed me. Oh, it didn't stop going further. Wait a minute. Guys. I've been scammed. Oh, 
I was totally scammed. Okay, while it's doing this... Actually, can I... While it's doing this... Uh, let's view the ship log, all the things that we added. going to follow now is we're going to return to this place so that we can go over here so they're an observatory that's what we're doing right now <laughs> wow we took a long detour we took a long detour a very long detour i'm really curious i'm extending the game tonight a little bit on this one I wonder, it might be better if I just kill myself. <laughs> this is gonna be a very boring lo loop to watch. <laughs> me looking at the probe. Alright, there we go. Okay. Following the probe? Not a good idea. Following the probe? I will try to go for the thing that I was trying to go for at the beginning of, of tonight's stream. It all comes back. It all comes back. Right, where is the sun? Okay, is that Brittle Hollow? Yep. Let's go. It's awfully close. So I know that from the ruins, I'll be able to do it. I just need to find the ruins and move quick. Is that the ruins right there? Did they just give it to me? On a silver platter? They did, didn't they? Yep. This is it. We're okay. I know how to drive. <laughs> Perfect. Don't need to go on the ship. Go. Shortcut. Shortcut. Ah! Okay. I immediately need to look up. Are you kidding? It was right here. Okay. Well, you win some, you lose some. There you go. Alright, the path is full. Come on. Make it, make it, make it. I think I got it. Oh, 
this is the place I, I want to go. Come on, keep moving. Now this thing falls apart really quickly. Oh no, this is the North Pole. This is the North Pole. I wanted the South Pole. Okay, so. Note to self, this is the wrong pole. Oh. Still cool though. Yeah, this is the city, but we've Oh, we've checked out the city already. I mean sure there's more, but we've mostly checked out the city. Too big. Uh oh, uh oh. Here we go again. this one go to. Oh! This one goes to the planet I want to go. Yeah. want to be there. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Here we go. It's actually such a cool system. worked out really well. Alright, so I need to find a different way in, because this that led me to the north. I need to be able to go south. And I could do all my derpy things. I kind of want to... You know, like, how much should I be insisting on the derpy thing? That's the south. So that over there is the north. And is there... It's just the beams. It connects over here to this beam. Which in turn connects. There's a connection. Ow. Ah. It already broke off. There could have been a connection here. Which I would probably have to come in through the spire if I wanted to deal with that specifically. You know what? On the 
Let's go. Oh, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part of to focus on. Not how I'll eventually get back up that path. But, wow, this place sure is something. Looking at the Hanging City is north from here. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here. The east is the Gravity Cannon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I detected oxygen from somewhere below. Which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head farther down below, refill my tank. Okay. Yeah, this is... Gravity cannon? Okay, so this is kind of... Ooh, 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 here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Give me something, give me something. I got it. I got it. Ooh. If I remember correctly. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This reverts. There we go. That's what I need. I need to find the north now. I think that's it. I think that's the north. Also, hello. Talk to Ryback. Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! Wow. Guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow. We probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. <laughs> Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Yep, gravity crystal and dumb luck. I landed somewhere my little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. Well, that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Huh, that'd be... yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so that... So then, the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? 
And where did the escape pod launch from? How curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we find more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Learned something. Saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? It's hard to believe the settlement's still standing, but there is, but there it is. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere in, like, Timber Earth. Okay, this guy doesn't really seem to have a lot of information. Doesn't seem to be the most knowledgeable person. So, I'm gonna invert that. Okay. Oh. I know we've checked this before. to the surface. Okay. That's where I want to go. Right. Beam me up. Oh, actually, this might be good. <laughs> Southern Observatory. Yeah, actually, this might be good. <laughs> this might have been what I... Oh, I don't even know where I put the scout. <laughs> this might have been where I needed to go. <laughs> and there's dead people. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm gonna do one more, one more loop right after I go to the bathroom. So I will be right back. Just give me a couple minutes and I should be right back. And let me put some music on. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully you enjoyed some some good tunes. This one, of course, was from the great that game, that's great. You know which one. <laughs> Use it as a sling. Booyah!
how you do it. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to reset the timeline again, so I'm just gonna find the quickest way to die. Which is, in this case... Must be horrible. Imagine this in a realistic scenario. Of... You know, you're stuck in this loop, so you actually have to kill yourself sometimes, because things have happened that you need to figure out. But they have happened already. So the only way for you to figure it out... Is to die. <laughs> Like, this is kind of just played... I mean, it, it's played like a cool mechanic, but I don't think it explores at all the, <laughs> the repercussions of, you know, someone... The trauma, even, of someone having to go through death multiple times. Because it's one thing if it's something like, uh... Um... Uh, Groundhog's Day, where he just goes to bed. I mean, he does die sometimes, but then he wakes up, but like... He goes to bed and wakes up on the same day. Versus one where, like, the only way you're resetting is when you die. <laughs> so, you know, there's some interesting implications there. That aren't really explored at all. Which, again, is okay. It doesn't- they don't need to explore it, but... But it's- it's an interesting implication to consider. That, like, how much trauma is this person going through? What's that one with no name? Thanks, autopilot. <laughs> the Nomai are like, what are you doing? <laughs> That was a really short loop. All right. There's the star I want to go to. Right into the sun. Come on! There we go. The autopilot isn't very good. The autopilot is not the best. <laughs> Just saying. Thing is willing to crash me. Okay, so we're gonna go... So not through here. Is it through there? Got 
because through here... There we go. There we go. Perfect! Couldn't have been better. Alright, now we need to move fast. We ignore our friend. We turn on this thing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Go, go, go. Because now we, get, we have to move as fast as possible. I think I figured out the way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Other way. There we go. Needs to be before stuff breaks down. Alright. I'm so close to it. Rods. Rods. Why do you do that? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I thought I'd... I thought I was gonna get a shortcut, you know? I thought I was uh, doing a little shortcut. Oh, I paid for that. I paid dearly for that. Anyway, hopefully we still have enough time. Hopefully that didn't take all our time away. That's sad. Alright, this time, I won't try to do a shortcut. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it the normal way. Oh, look at that! L look at that! Isn't that simple? Is it gone already? Oh boy. Okay. So that's north, and you go south. Oh my, I, I'm actually gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do it. No. Okay, we got it. We got it. There wasn't any fuel there. We got it. This is child's play. This game gets me really stressed. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It just gets me really stressed. Like, I really want to get these things working. Okay. Alright, alright. This is it. Convoy, Cassava's construction convoy. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. And that one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. 
An update. Oh. An update. Uh, it is now clear that there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components to orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclones that spins the opposite direction, pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My... My gratitude, Spire. Cornerway is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But it was really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring uh, the Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a mono. Alright, so... The clockwise... So, we need to go for the counterclockwise. These will push me down. So, counterclockwise. I need to go to the counterclockwise ones. Alright, let's see what's the deal with this. Orbiting. It's in multiple locations at once. Because it's not being seen. So the probe went the wrong way. Okay, that's our system. What have we learned thus far in our search? What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis! The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. I suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kusava, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived. Oof. This is cool, though. It's multiple places at once. There's no- nothing is holding it down as of right now. How- How should our methods change as we continue our search for the Eye of the Universe? We know that the- We know that the Eye looks like... Thanks to the Quantum Moon. So what if we try to find the Eye visually instead? Send out a probe. I... We'd need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover that long distance quickly. A cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. So, cannon in the orbit around the celestial body... The giant's deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Quantum moon! Moons? Here's the thing, and I've mentioned this before, every game I really like, there's a moon involved. There's always a moon involved in games I really like. Mallow's idea is clever. 
but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken to Rainy and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Yes, let's build the cannon to orbit around Giant's Deep. Everything led me where I started. This is stupid. <laughs> Everything I've done so far has led me to what I already know. I already knew. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. This is not zero G. I was lied to. There it is, the quantum moon. So if I look away, yeah, it's gone. So here, our next, our next experiment will be going through the counterclockwise one. Hopefully that'll give us better results. Giants deep. I guess this allows me to see there. I don't think I've been here. I don't think I've been this place. Interesting. Very interesting. Konoi, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into the orbit for assembly and one somehow- Okay, this is, again, information we might have already known. Convince me not to try to recreate the phenomenon. Gratitude for your interest in question. I have to grasp the answers. If you don't mind, trek beneath the surface. Okay. It's all stuff we already know. Which isn't a bad thing. So I've been dancing around the solution for a while now. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um... In that the ship went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar, would barely, barely have left at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if... There were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there's a pass below the surface. I'm going to head north. Runes on the equator. Try to find a way down. Okay, so yeah, that's that was the, our friend that's just chilling downstairs. Can I use his ship? Can I use his ship? Nope. My ship isn't too far. That sun's gonna blow soon. That looks like a sun that's gonna blow soon. <laughs> Recognize those crystals. <laughs> Don't want to mess with that. What's this? Oh. Oh, you know what? I think dozing off is what kills me. So I could do it non lethally.
Or not. Huh. My theory is, though, if you sleep long enough, you'll die. It's my theory. Broken gravity stones. Oh wow, okay. So I'm actually on the rock my ship is. An identified signal nearby. Identify it. Alright. Anyway. No. My beautiful landing drop. Buckle up. Gotta exit. My theories were right from the beginning, and I guess uh, that uh, all these playthroughs worked for me to solidify my thoughts. The answer, I mean, I would have, I would not have known, what is that? Oh, it's just fire stuff. I would not have known that. I need to look for a counterclockwise. Uh, hurricane on this planet to find what I want. Interesting. Um, no identifying. Quantum moon. All right. We're going in. Finding the counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise, 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 counter clockwise. Here we go. And I also know about the jellyfish. Jellyfish protects. There we go. There's a jellyfish. So there must be a way that I won't get electrocuted. I 
feel like the secret is gonna be one of these. Because we, we got to see the one on... On Brittle Hollow. Not Brittle Hollow, on the Bramble. So I'm gonna I'm gonna observe this for a moment, and if I don't see anything, I see stuff. Okay. The damage is electrical stuff. Question then: Can I do this? Oh, you know what? Probably better idea is refueling my ship <laughs> before I do anything like that. There we go. Here we go. Nope. So that jellyfish we found. The jellyfish we found probably has something to do with it. game just keeps pulling me in. <laughs> I just, I really just want to solve this. Alright, so, I know one thing. So it'll be the last thing I do. I know I've said that a few times, but it'll be the last thing I do. I actually got a lot done this this cycle. I kind of forgot. I'm gonna get the jellyfish. I'm gonna get the jellyfish. Dark Bramble. That's number one. Number two is gonna bring, gonna be bringing it back to the Giant's Deep. It's crazy to me to think that there's actually even a, a planet I've never even been to. I have not been to the Twins. Not been to the twin planets. That's Brittle Hollow. Dark Bramble. There we go. It's because it's in front of the. It's actually pretty close. Oh, it's it was behind it, not in front. Number twin. The 
the sun doesn't pull us. <laughs> there we go. I was gonna say, that could could have gone real bad. Uh oh. What's that? It's a little dot. But way too curious. Just ignore that. Oh, is this the this is the white hole? Yep, this is the white hole. find the jellyfish on the surface here. is another one of those you now I'm starting to think that to actually beat this game you have to go through an incredibly complicated set of steps <laughs> an incredibly complicated set of steps which involves, I'm not really going to do it tonight, but which would involve, yeah, it's totally in this larger one. Okay, actually, I might not have to, I might not have to, I'm going to land on the bramble right here. Because it's 0G, so I should be fine. No, it's not 0G. I should be fine. Nope, I should be fine. But yeah, there's, only, there's just one way you're figuring this out, and it's if you've done it already. So... Hopefully, if I can find my way back. To where the... The thing was... This is all ice. There used to be water. And it was on a planet. Okay. I guess is that it would be more than one of these crevices. Classic needle in a haystack situation. Because that's what Feldspar said, right? Yeah. 
What I'll need to do. What I'll need to do. Unless my ship tells me. Well, he calm beneath the current, some sort of electrical field surrounding the planet's core. Okay. There's a no mine shuttle. Nope. Quantum shard, quantum trials, quantum signal, gravity cannon, quantum moon, northern glacier, white hole station, Gabros Island. Frozen jellyfish. Those birds documented the attempts to eat enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. I said it was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish which is insides from getting zapped by electricity. Fellows Prize decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior interior cavity to see what it tasted better. After tasting the inside of jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Show. Frozen jellyfish. Boom. Well, that's helpful. No, no, no. Uh oh. Forgot to refuel. <laughs> Refuel. Then we can go for that. Thankfully, the thing keeps track of everything. The ship log keeps track of everything. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. get some of it because that's what I want <laughs> you know what maybe I need to go back to Feldspar and ask him about the jellyfish Tell me, like, oh, you should use... Because currently I don't have any tools that I can use for doing that. And that's my problem right now. Just don't have the right tools for the job. I believe it's the closest light. Yep. I guess I should identify Feldspar. There we go. Super Pegarino, hello, what you know so far? Um, you won't grab anything there. Know how to pass the current. Yes, I do know how to pass the current. 
I just wanted to know if... Uh, let me guess. Anglerfish. Yes, we've found something. Oh, uh, frozen jellyfish. Woo. So, is that old thing still there, is it? When I first camped out after the crash, you know, pretty cozy inside. Those lack structural integrity, indomitable spirit of a camp, made in shelter of the very bones of the species to try to eat, I suppose. Still very cozy. I want... ...to use that. Oh. Burn myself. I understand it has to do with the jellyfish because it's it's the thing that's Ooh. I've just given up trying to fly, not hitting things. Might as well just... There we go. <laughs> Smooth sailing. So they tried... I've tried... Do I need to, like... Use my... My fire? I can't do anything with this. Not that I know of. I'm gonna try. I feel maybe they either give me a tool or I need to figure something out at Giant's Deep itself. So is that what you were saying? Go there, as in go to Giant's Deep. Ooh, yeah, there was no gravity. Jellyfish for my thing. Um, frozen jellyfish. Remove from hunt. Nope. Not the right button. There we go. Doctor, okay. Where is the one I want? Clockwise, counterclockwise. There, there, there. There it is. Alright. So, my other theory. Was that there's there's a jellyfish around here that doesn't zap you, or I can do something to the jellyfish so that it won't zap. Zappy, or I have, or it's just Zappy in the surroundings. Nope, 
It's zappy in general. All right. I feel like I have all the pieces of the puzzle, I just don't know how to put the pieces together. I think so, I also tried that. I also tried going in without the ship. I mean, you probably know, but... I'll get close to one. I guess that should tell me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that means I should be okay to go. I think. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, oh I see it. Crazy. I saw this thing so long ago. <laughs> saw this thing so long ago. To finally be actually doing this. Whoa, whoa. Twin projection stone. I don't think I've seen the Ash Twin yet. Okay. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. Let's see. Launch module. Wait, did I have to bring the piece? from the other place. I hope I didn't have to bring the piece from the other place. That's gonna be really annoying. Okay, so something goes here. There's probably like, oh, there we go, there we go. That's the orbit of the ship. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Receiving data from probe. Nine million, blah, blah, blah. Visualizing cur current trajectory of the probe. Okay. Come back, come back. this one. Did they launch multiple probes? Oh. 
Oh. That's fascinating. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched. Oh, okay, I see what that is. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for found by probe 318. Is that the current one? Is that the one that just went out? No, that's, that's a different one. Streaming store coordinates from Ash Twin. Explain coordinates for the eye of the universe. music is playing like this means something stored coordinates from ash twin i didn't press the thing so it's not gonna flip me oh it did flip me okay I'm sure the ship has some sort of insight to this. Yeah, the, the thing said probe 71 was the, but this said probe 73 was the one that found it. Too bad this takes so long to, <laughs> to do its thing. Kind of just want to read. Oh, is that the sun? Is, is the sun blowing? No, not yet! <laughs> okay. <sighs> this game is awesome. <laughs> you have one piece of the puzzle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a big puzzle. I want to see what... I want to see what the ship has to say, what the logs have to say about that. Sometimes they have... well, they have some good insight. A lot of things. Okay, it's the only thing. Know my coordinates. There's more to explore here. One of them did find it. I might need to. So from the orbital, where can I put coordinates? Pass through the like reach coral forest at the planet's core. Yeah, clearly there's more with this. I haven't even visited the Ash Twin. <laughs> Which is funny to me, like there's so so much more. There were three aboard the shuttle a shuttle, one of them stayed. 
I also don't know what to do with that. That froze on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon. The Amber Twin. I have not been to the twins. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Am I warped to the solar system vessel crash somewhere in the dark bramble? Interesting. So I got called. Like, I guess I can just. Real know my vessel encountering the signal. Real dark bramble. Just ensnaring the vessel. Three escape pods evacuating. It's in the bramble somewhere. I went to the red one. I went to the red. One of the escape pods never left. There's actually more to the Dark Bramble. I thought I had actually completed everything in the Dark Bramble. One of the Nomai Escape Plan is somewhere in the Hourglass Twins. Okay. Alright, alright. seems like there's still quite a lot more for me to do. <laughs> it's quite a lot more. Well, maybe I should finally pay a visit to the twins. Number twin and the ash twin. Oh, uh, out of the... There they are. Number twin. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, I, I just feel like I'm just scratching the surface. I feel like I've figured so much stuff out, but it's just the beginning at the same time. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, there's a landing surface. Ooh, there's some interesting stuff here. I should have come here earlier. Ooh. <laughs> this is fine. It's actually better than most of my landing. So I'm guessing this looks like a beacon. Beacon of some sort. Uh, I'm guessing maybe. Maybe this is how you call back the ship. And that will be interesting. Ooh. Riding on the floor. Note! This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on extraordinary findings the white, from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just observe, sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Raimi and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Alright, so the Sunless City. I'm guessing this has something to do with that. Oof. And it's pushing me down. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Forgot about this stuff. It's in the city. Okay. Crash site caves. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna have to learn how to deal with the ghost matter somehow. Like something's gonna have to to work out there. Oh, hello. This looks like a friendly Oh, this crash. Oh hello. Oh hello. Huh. Look at that. Never mind. Don't need to. Shuttle is currently resting at the com- Oh, here we go. Gravity cannon. All shuttle home. Bam. This is interesting. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet, comet's sunward side, and they descend inside. They descended inside to investigate the source of the reading. So. Able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side. But Pine and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pi, come back to me safely, friends. Guy die in here? Yep. Dude died in here. Okay. Oh. Oh. Um. You know what? That's a good idea. I see what you mean now. <laughs> I was like, shoot the explorer. I forget that that thing is called the, the explorer. I, I just like, <laughs> just call it the probe. But yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. You have a point there. Yeah, all of these places are long hallways. I should have just been doing every time I see ghost matter. I should just shoot them. Shoot a probe through. I've been slacking. Alright. That's a good thing. Everything is kind of close. <laughs> so you don't have to worry too much. Everything... It kind of works out. It kind of works out. If you die. <laughs> I mean, the game is well designed. It's made for you to... Die multiple times. And I have to... Imagine if it was big. Oh yeah, and the telescope. Oh wait, I have a telescope. Sometimes I forget about that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna land near the thing again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, match the velocity. Oh, someone has a... Someone landed here. I guess I haven't talked to this person. Alright. What's the deal with all these other explorers? I'm here, traveling as much as I can, and they're just, they're just chilling on these planets. Clean. <laughs> Get the suit. 
One time is enough. Dying <laughs> without the suit. Oh, oh. Could have picked a better place. Hello. Oh, you look like a little little egg man. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it that your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Find the sand now. Hornsfell asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova novae today. Never heard the plural of that. Uh, usually, I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Actually, I think I might have seen that happen. I found something. I found notes about the Adel Rock's main crater. Did you? Hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there is no such planet now. It's in its place to dart bramble, which, how to put this, grew into space, the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, dark bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely, and its shards flung across space. Some of these shards collided with celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is the biggest crater, how the biggest crater was formed. Okay. Uh, question for you? Uh, what are you doing out here? Okay. Be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with a little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on the Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting... One shooting a bright beam of light into the sky. Not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. It's the Nomai ship. That's right. I know my ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there were was one to see, I'd have seen with my little scalps. Where did they live? On the surface, clearly. The Ember Twin is clear is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground? Okay, this guy doesn't seem to have. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let me refuel. Where's your refueling station? There it is. Alright. Oh, I actually parked right next to his. Convenient. Oh, his ship is different. Huh. Does he enter his ship? <laughs> the mystery. Instead of exploring the intergalactic things, I'm like, oh, does this ship work? So he has a, doesn't seem to really have many entries. Oh, okay. Uh, look where you're going. Let me find the place that we were at last time. With my ship. Thought it was maybe this thing, but clearly there are multiple, or um. Nope. That is it. I just need to land. 
Hey, actually, that might have been the best landing I've ever done. Didn't even feel like a landing. Alright. They didn't read this. I understand. Well. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, it reforms. Sunless City. Last time it didn't reform. Interesting. find one of the caves that will lead me there. So I believe. I need to find a cave system that will lead me there. Chip is over there. So it's going to be on this side, of course. Find though cave entrance. Or I just need to go lower. This is gonna be dangerous just because. So this is where we were. Okay, it's coming back. Maybe it's not lower. Just sand. Okay. This is definitely me moving away from it, but maybe. Oh, here we go. No, no. Of note, this passage leads to the breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. Cannot tell how far deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the area is exposed to heat of this alien sun. Okay. A nice little emergency escape. <laughs> oh, I know that. Don't follow this tunnel. To its end, Kalaizu will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later. Provide life. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Oh, it's one of the anglerfish. Cool. about this keep moving friend there's nothing interest at the end of this passage but rocks all these rocks are interesting they can wait until less urgent time okay we have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising I believe we could construct a long-term shelter oh that's where the city is here we go The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow instructions ahead closely. This is not good. Let me get through there. 
Okay. Okay, I can walk on this. Increases and decreases. Or it just increases. That might also be a thing. <laughs> Maybe I just need to come here earlier. Okay, that's just... That. Yeah, I think this is just increasing. I think these caves... I need to come here really early <laughs> if I want to figure that out. Cavern Melora found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark the directions for the others to follow? Very start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. We must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. Make sure no one is lost. Once again, might be one of those things where I have to reset it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure the distressing. Come on. Distress signals somewhere over here. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Waiting departure from the vessel. Escape pod 3 now launching, escape pod 2, collision imminent, preparing for impact, da da da. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. Okay. Good to know, good to know. We need status report for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods or distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't know either escape the pod, crash the same planet as us. Epiphany moment. Just I was just thinking about what you were mentioning. I don't even know if you're still watching. Super Pegarina. Pegarino. Uh, but, uh... I just realized... Something. Based on what you said... That if I... Identified the signal of the third pod. I could possibly find it in the bramble. Because now I have... I could find it in the bramble. Which, since this is filling up with sand, I can't, I don't think, unless uh, the next cycle won't be able to do it, so we might as well just go check out the Bramble, since this is a theory I have right now. This is also... Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Get out, get out, get out! This is also a great game for people with ADHD. Fantastic. You're like, oh, I can't do this, oh, what's that other thing? <laughs> just see stuff in the sky and you go <laughs> Okay, not gonna complain. Alright. Oof. Yeah, maybe a little bit too hard. Oh, that was my engine. Oh boy. Okay. Fuel tank damaged. Oh, that's in here. Nope, no it's not. Okay. Well, at least this happened before any anglerfish were following. 
There we go. That would have been a problem. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Fast. Because of a certain. <laughs> of a certain fish. Don't want to be caught playing around. Here, I don't have to go through another one. Oh, well, I think that there's more stuff around here. And did they build a whole colony in here? They totally did. There it is. Yeah, because I'm seeing little things, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna build every build everything. Okay, I'm stuck here. I can match velocity. There we go. Yep, I have it on. There we go. Pod three. Awesome. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We we've held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seca is the message finished. The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Oh, am I gonna get to see the, the vessel? That's gonna be... This game. Everything that happens is just like... <laughs> it really grabs the best part of exploration and put and puts an awesome twist on it. <laughs> skate Pod Vessel has been mortally injured. Yeah, we've... Okay, now launching Skate Pod 3. Two, oh. Multiple collisions. Ultra Pod's trajectory. Significant damage. Pod detected. And I didn't read that. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Yeah, yeah. Do not exit pod. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I read this one. There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different places. Yes, it is. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone. We will be lost. We will follow the beacon. The source is nearest to us. That's smart. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave the trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod distress signal. That's crazy. 
that no one emergency escape hatch that none of the other explorer like how has no one checked this how am I the first one to be doing this I mean feldspar went pretty far oh maybe that's good. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. I know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> um, it's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible. This gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Yeah, that's crazy. These guys never even got to see safety. It's actually kind of cool looking at them. Oh, I'm gonna hit the plant. Cool. They all died just coming here. That's sad. Looking in. Any of them have anything else that's cool? It's just this. Oh, they were hugging. All right, enough of that. There it is. thing for us to do. Wait, 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 where's my ship? Where's my ship? There it is, okay. Man, I love space games. <laughs> space is awesome. For some reason, these designs are making me think of Mass Effect. The design of this ship specifically, their escape pod. It just gives me an awesome feeling of... Even if it's not an exploration game like this. For some reason, it gives me an awesome feeling of... Of exploration. <laughs> that makes any sense. Even when it's not. Oh, I see. I have a feeling it is in the red one. I have a feeling. This is your favorite space game? No, it's awesome. Oh! Oh! This is what's causing everything! Wait, wait! What do you mean there's no quantum fluctuations from this massive thing? Clearly there's quantum fluctuations. Okay. Well, I know what's on the other side of the red one. <laughs> I know it's a one-way trip. No, no!
I mean, this is truly fantastic. This game is... It's a game like, unlike any other. Straight up. There isn't anything like this game. It is a must-play game. And... I think most people don't, don't even think about that. Just because it's... You know, it's this indie game and it's like... It came out at a horrible time. I was mentioning this uh, the other day when I was playing this, but the fact that it came out so close to a game called Outer Worlds, everyone was... I was confusing the two. Like, Outer World? Outer Wilds? Which one is? Because it's... the name was similar, so it's not the fault of any of them, of either of them really, but it's just so unfortunate that it was just completely obscured because of that. Get too close to this one. <laughs> you want to erase your memory and relive it? Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Yeah, it's when you experience it the first time. It, I mean, I'm I'm going through it the first time. It truly is magical. Just kind of seeing these things and being like, wow. Well, maybe, maybe I'm not good. A little bit too fast. A little bit too fast. It's also awesome, too, how intuitive and simple the ship flying is, but at the same time, how complicated it can be. Just because of how hard it is to fly in three dimensions. Flying in three dimensions is really tough. There we go. Uh, where's my suit? Shoot this thing again. Again. Fantastic work on the fact that I got here in a minute, essentially. design of this game is <laughs> absolutely incredible. Alright, so now we're landing right here. Perfect. I did... I did this once, and I didn't really know that they were sleeping. I thought they were all dead. Quiet, even though you know you don't have to be quiet. 
but <laughs> they scared me so bad. Because <laughs> I was just going through my ship thinking they were dead. And oh. Should be okay to be moving. The physics are very crazy. Gravity of all plants are connected. Yeah, no, it. The simu. The gravity simulation. All, just the simulations in general in this game are awesome. It's definitely something that I commend the team for. I'm gonna end up doing some more research on the team after this just because I. Oh no, it's. Although this makes sense though, that it would be. I feel like I'm going the right way. <laughs> Better than. Yeah. Honestly. I think that's the best horror. I'm not a big fan of just like the jump scary horror movies. But I think the best horror is in things that aren't horror. Like if it's trying to scare you. Because A, I think that it's more unexpected than if it's something that you're just, you know. You go into a horror movie, you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna scare me. But when it's not, it's like, oh. That's why one one of the movies that like probably got me the most because especially because I wasn't expecting it at all was like <laughs> Toy Story 3 way back in when that came out. Like definitely not expecting a scare in a kids movie. <laughs> and that that movie's creepy. That movie gets creepy. And you don't expect it again cuz it's <laughs> not what you would expect. the controls here. I'm guessing that if I put it here, I still need to transfer the... But if I put it back here, I guess that's what I'm curious about. I want to see what it does. What does this do? Before I go trying to move the ship, I'm gonna explore the ship a little bit more. <laughs> Just in case that causes something to happen. Okay. Closed, closed, okay, it's all closed. So I, my guess is, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just going, although, is there a hallway to the other side? No, no, it's all brambled. All brambled. There's a documentary of 40 minutes uh, with the devs, but you should end the game first, okay. I'd be curious to see that for sure. Oh, there's a second floor. Can you even... Probably check the second floor. Oh, oh, oh! Conversation! <laughs> and honestly, they made it pretty fun to read text. I actually really like this. Whenever I'm reading the little match speed, please. Thank you. Do any know my clans whose vessel can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe place within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option for all of our clans is to stay together. 
if you can reach the glee the gloaming galaxy we found that black rock sun are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving we live in relative safety if you prefer to continue exploring alone know you will be on your own we're making our way to you Kano, we're making our way to you it's good to hear from you, Bromie. We'll watch you... We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived. And he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The dis disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskol's vessel simply stopped responding, and the other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskol's clan existed. Their story was real. What a curious event to have passed through into myth. Our ancestors ancestors were told that story when they were young. Sure it's true, Hyssop? It was very long it was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskol's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hyssop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskol's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. Triple suns of the Bright Spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you, meet you soon, Anna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember... Be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them. Oh. Interesting. Man, I'm almost out of fuel. This is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp. And our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We are abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Right, I think there's only one thing left to do. Oh wait, there's oxygen here. I'm fine. <laughs> Proceeds to hit everything. Whoops, I mean to do that. Wait, wait. Is it? <laughs> no.
There must be. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal of the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. It's our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare warp immediately. Eskol, wait, I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose it. discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp on the signal approximate? Okay. Don't remember it. Ow. And I don't think I can make it out. And there's no way I'm bringing my ship here. Should continue to push me, period. I am actually slowing down, which is a problem. Oh, oh yeah, it always brings you out. A lot of patience this moment. It's a mix between time and speed. Or I might get eaten eaten here, so you know. Both can quickly happen. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. Might be better for me to get eaten by the fish, but it's a very not fun death, though. Yeah, I'm out. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna warp to it. I've already gone way longer than, than I hoped to be going tonight, <laughs> but I don't care. <sighs> but their warp thing is broken. Do they talk about a warp drive anywhere else? Or would that be functional? Don't remember them talking about a warp drive anywhere else. Oh, oh. Mrs. Vemvika. 
No one debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. And you figure out that Have I been in the quantum moon? Every time I go to it, it disappears. Like, I, I go into it, it disappears. I threw my scout into it, and it's just noise. So, I didn't explore it any further than that. But I guess, also, the fact that they debated how to obtain a powerful, highly advanced warp core, that's exactly what I was just talking about. All right, it, it includes too many steps. I'm not going to be able to keep doing it today. <laughs> oh, is that a count of my deaths? No, impossible. I died way more. All right. That's where I'm going to stop tonight. This game. This game. <laughs> I'm really excited to see all these other things. It feels like the Ash project is kind of at the center of everything I need to do. They found the vessel. And I, if I have a good warp core, I can warp it out of there. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I'm really excited to keep playing it. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the ideas and the tips. Definitely very helpful. And... <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> just one of those things that just leaves you thinking. This game just kind of gets you thinking. But alright. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a great evening, day, whatever it is. And I will be back on Friday now. So, I shall be back on Friday, 8pm Eastern Standard Time. Put to main menu. Yes. That's it for me. I'll see you all on Friday.